Right, so we're going to be playing BitLife. If you haven't pay, played BitLife before, uh, I have played and paid for it. I'm a Bitizen premium member. They don't just hand these out. I had to pay for it. So we'll just design the person together because the first section where you actually make the person, you click on the little mouse, squeak, squeak, squeak. We just got a random person. No, um, Miguel, sorry, I'm starting a new life. Uh, you're just, you're not my kind of baby, so... Goodbye. Failed democracy. It's it's kind of fitting, given what we're doing, I think. This is failed democracy. <laughs> My father is Noah Democracy. Noah Democracy <laughs> is also a pretty good name. We are ugly as shit, unfortunately. While playing on the sidewalk outside of your home, you notice a group of buzzing insects flying in and out of a nearby lamppost. What will you do? One, observe them. Two, disregard them. Three, throw a rock at them. Wow, would you look at that? Look at that pole, huh? <laughs> what a surprise. I threw a rock at a beehive outside of my home and was chased back inside by a swarm of angry bees. My looks has gone up to 5%, so there is... Ho it's gone down to 4, actually, as I said that. Never mind. Your classmate, Bobby Sue, just came into class late and slammed the door. What'll you do? I will warn you that attacker will probably result in serious consequences. Uh, it... Doesn't matter, I just looked at the poll. Okay, <laughs> all right, we're going with two. So we're gonna round a roundhouse kick her. It's between groin and toes. <laughs> Bit of a weird sentence. <laughs> oh my God, we did so much damage. A relative gives you a gift certificate to a trendy hat store. You've been wanting to don a new lid recently lately. What age are we? Aren't we like seven? <laughs> what seven year old goes, hello mother, I'd like to don a new lid, please. All right, failed democracy, you just got a hat. Look at that. Amazing what uh, covering up some of the damage will do. Like, out of sight, out of mind. Your classmate Thomas has been dunking your head in the toilet every day. What do you do? Now, without looking at the poll, I would say we're going to report him to the principal because that is the responsible thing to do. We're going to attack him. What a surprise. You bit the bully's lip, then you gave him a swift kick to the thyroid gland. Jesus Christ. While in your math teacher's class, Mrs. Handy's class, your classmate, Ad Adjurin, all of a sudden begins ripping pages out of the class textbook one at a time, yelling less is more with each new page tear. What will you do? Surprise, surprise. We take this personally and we attack them for some reason. <laughs> do you want to Twist, stretch, punch, kick, squeeze, scratch. It sounds like the worst version of Bop It ever. You want to punch his forehead. It's good. It's a good, a good area. It's a big target. Oh no, our father died. I shouldn't even need to ask this because of course we'll attend his funeral. But do you want to one, attend his funeral or two, skip the funeral? <laughs> what? <laughs> now it's the important choice. Do you want to... Take your driving test. What does this road sign mean? I rode narrow skinny cars only. I didn't realize it was one of these. Okay, chat, tell me, what does this road sign mean? Well, it seems like the majority think skinny cars only. Jesus, you wouldn't want you guys as like the, the audience and who wants to be a millionaire, would you? <laughs> okay, what is this? Your mother has married your new stepfather. Eb Ebenezer Wright, a 67 year old retired restaurant worker. They went to the Great Wall of China for their honeymoon. What will we be causing or calling our new stepfather? Bro. <laughs> Sup, bruh? <laughs> I wouldn't go to your funeral either, bruh. You are suffering from depression. That's what pushed us over the line. Calling our dad bro. Okay, but this is good news, because even though we're depressed and we look just awful, we're now an adult. What are we going to do with our life, chat? You want to take some time off? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you want to do with our time off? You got eight choices there. Let's get shredded at the gym. I think that'd be a great idea, but it seems like crime is on the agenda, unfortunately. <laughs> Pickpocket is winning at the moment, closely followed by bank robbery. <laughs> it's quite the choice, isn't it? It's like, I feel like doing some crime, but I just can't decide between pickpocketing or robbing a bank. <laughs> okay, murder it is. I, just, just to be sure, that's what you want, because I feel like I, there must be some mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's, that's murder, all right? Okay, I didn't think this is what you had in mind when you said you wanted some time off <laughs> when we were given the option. But you really have it out for bro, don't you? It turns out we're actually not that much of a bro. It wasn't like bro, it was bro. You pushed your stepfather off a cliff while he was admiring a scenic view. He died. Okay, you did kill him. Sorry, bro. University. We, we can go to university or you can pick something else. I mean, 
You already had your time off. I don't know if you want more time off. I don't know, do you have other things that you want to do with your life? Like, was your bucket list just killed stepfather? Okay, you want to enlist in the military. <laughs> it doesn't sound good for, like, a murderer to join the military. I don't know if he has the temperament, but you were being arrested by the police. In hindsight, after committing a murder, it probably wasn't the best idea to enter the military and probably have our background dug into. Oh my god, we might be sentenced to death. YOLO, I mean, yes, YOLO, but also YOLO, you know. Uh. You've been convicted of murder and running from the police and sentenced to 43 years in prison. Oh no. Oh, good news. My little sister Savannah is no longer suffering from diarrhea. I just love that they continue to send me mail when I'm in prison. So what, what would you like to do? You're thinking of crying. <laughs> it's kind of what I want to do too, to be honest with you. You sat and bawled in the corner of your cell. Fortunately, no one noticed. Okay, that's been an eventful year. While hanging out in the prison yard, another inmate asked you if you'd like a hit of morphine. Stephanie has been promoted to lieutenant and Savannah graduated from high school. I tried morphine. That's how my day is going. We're going to attempt to escape. Escape. Who? Yes! Who? I practiced at that a lot, fortunately enough. <laughs> My depression is gone! <laughs> Alright, great. You, you're trying to do crime again. Okay. You're mixed between crime and love. <laughs> Imagine the thought process of this human. Like, <laughs> it doesn't really seem to make any sense. It's like, hmm, I have the sudden urge to either meet the love of my life or commit various crimes. <laughs> it's looking like four. <laughs> I really thought it would be one for some reason. I thought when you went down the love route that you actually wanted them to find someone. I don't know whether for love or to murder them. Again, he seems to be 50-50 on both of them. <laughs> but <laughs> hook up. Oh no. <laughs> There's even further choice. Okay. No condoms are available, and it looks like she has some craziness going on down below. <laughs> one or two, folks. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so after that glorious one-night stand that you just had, uh, notice how I've pivoted now from calling the person me to you. You have swelling issues. I don't know why you're saying pray, because if there is a god in BitLife, I don't feel like they will want to help us after all we've done. Okay, let's see. Let's... Let's go with occupation. Bear in mind we're a wanted criminal for murder and we could likely be sent to death row if we get caught. So, special careers you want to look in. This isn't gonna work, is it? Oh no. <laughs> oh no! I didn't know this was even here. Organized crime. Political office. Political office. Organized crime. Same thing. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. We've already been doing disorganized crime. So, I mean, we do have experience. The Irish mob. Surprise, surprise. We want to join the O'Malley family. How are we going to try and impress them? Okay, we're going to deliver baked goods. Hey, uh, can I join your mob? I, uh... Make a mean donut, and I'm also on the run for murder. I just escaped death row. <laughs> Good donut stuff. Well, I'll be damned. It actually worked. <laughs> he successfully joined the O'Malley family as an associate after breaking after baking an array of sweets and treats for members of the family for two months. Great. Do I get money? And lately, you've noticed the same page Volvo outside Family Skipper. Lucky Duffy's favorite restaurant. You feel you should investigate, as it could be the feds. What will you do? Do we really want to? We do really want to. Okay. Blow it up. Oh my god, we have 30 grand! Gang. Alright, sorry. I shouldn't be saying gang, given we're an organized crime. Probably a sensitive topic. Okay, it's identity. Okay, I mean, this might be a good call even for just escaping the cops kind of thing anyway. All right, name change. What are you thinking? Working democracy! <laughs> okay, I mean, it is working out. Maybe that does make sense. Your mother is arguing with you because you changed your name to working democracy. You literally named me a failure. You branded me a failure. You set me up for failure. And when I finally get involved with a group of like-minded individuals who happen to like the same things, blowing up cars, then you get pissed off that my life is working out. Damn right, chat. Argue back. Shut up. I'll have you kill next. <laughs> I did it to bro and I'll do it to you too. Plastic surgery. I thought that might be coming. And honestly, not a bad idea. But what type of surgery would you like? Alrighty then. Penis enlargement surgery it is. Ow. It is botched. I'm going to, I, I'm going to go into the sue menu because I assume, I assume. 
Mm. That you want to sue him. So I'm going to go in there. We're going for a nice middle ground. I like that. Very sensible. You won! We won $100,000. Great job in the courts, everyone. You did fantastic. And we, we didn't get arrested or anything. Now we have tons of money. All right, what do you want to do with all of this money? All right, so it's looking clear that it will be a gay dating app. So we're looking for a non-binary 80 plus year old. Let's try. Oh, it found someone who's actually interested. You are now dating Olivia. As long as Olivia is happy, we're happy. It's time we age up. It's been a busy year. We spent one year just crying. <laughs> this year had a lot. You've been ordered to report to the family what you do. You see, now you should be starting to get a bit attached to this life. Like, there's a lot to lose. Oh, no, no, no. Gang, this is bad. Sorry, not gang. Uh, folks, this is bad. If you don't step up your earnings, you'll be stepping into a pair of cement boots. We didn't contribute anything. So do we do crime? Is that how we get money? Uh, extortion. Where are we going to extort everyone? Why is there a convent there? Okay, you've picked a convent. It's kind of hi hypocritical to pray to God to solve all of your issues and then extort a convent, but okay. Just so you're fully in the clear here, up on that red banner, it says none. And I understand she's having none of our shit, but still. Is it really? Okay, you're, you're gonna whack her. All right. Oh, this is very divided. Jeez, you were very, very united in your mission to kill the nun. But how you do it is another story. You encased the sister servants of Harry Nunn in an Iron Maiden and left her to bleed out. She died. And I guess we've gotten away with it. How does he keep getting away with this? <laughs> yeah, you see, I think like the top four are the best if we actually want to live. And I know you might be thinking, haha, let's get them killed. But think of Olivia. We have Olivia to marry and possibly kill, I don't know. It's hard to read the chat, like what exactly you're thinking, but we're robbing a bank. This is dangerous. Uh, what weapon would you like to use? You're going with toy gun? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Scythe is right after it. That'd be a sight to see, right? What are you thinking for a disguise? You're thinking a Minecraft helmet. I didn't even realize that was an option. The Minecraft helmet with a toy gun. At least we can plead insanity after that, right? You don't have a car to get away. Well, it doesn't matter because this city is skinny cars only anyway. We're getting away on an electric scooter. <laughs> Rob it. You successfully robbed the bank with a toy gun while wearing a Minecraft helmet. You got away in an electric scooter with $2,000. You are collectively criminal masterminds. I'm honestly just impressed. It might be good to at least attempt a marriage at some point. I don't know if now is the best option. It's just... Olivia's pretty old. And Olivia has a lot of money. <laughs> Eh, working democracy needs a lot of money. And unfortunately, this working democracy doesn't generate any taxes from the people. Unless you count all the crime. Make love. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot. We... <laughs> We had an STD from earlier. Why would you do that? You just gave Olivia syphilis. What's a relationship now? I said I'd do one more and the relationship is not good. Olivia has a permanent pissed off face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gift. And you get to decide the gift as well. You're thinking Rolex. Okay. I gave you syphilis, but I also gave you a watch. So at least now you know the time. Oh, look at that. It's time for my syphilis medication. You, you want to fix this. Okay. Visit the doctor. Do you want to go to Dr. Hardwood or Dr. Romo's? In hindsight, we probably should have gone to Dr. Hardwood for the penis enlargement, but... Look, it worked out okay. We got a good settlement. You are no longer suffering from syphilis. Isn't that nice, huh? Poor Olivia. Ah, Olivia will be fine. 85 with syphilis. It's nothing. Nothing. No, Olivia! What are we gonna do? Olivia wants to break up. What should we do? I can't believe it. Olivia. We gave you everything, including syphilis. And this is how you repay us. We got dumped. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Hitman, you want to kill Olivia. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? I, I'll, I'll put the poll in anyway, just so that I have like an out if I have to go to court over this. It's like, well, it was the chat, really. I didn't want to kill anyone. Ah, oh, you smell that? The smell of a murder pole. <laughs> Olivia, it's time for you to be pushing up 
posies pushing up daisies pushing we're gonna kill you oh no they were an undercover cop chat i told you brendan can you believe they're like this honestly I was saying to them, we should just kill them. Or maybe not kill anyone is what I should say. I was saying, we should just not, we should not kill. We got a shorter sentence. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Cause you'd think it would stack. Maybe they haven't realized where failed democracy. <laughs> Gotta remove the fake mustache. <laughs> I was failed democracy all along. <laughs> Run, 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 run! <laughs> just take off. They made eye contact and then he just bolted. Oh, it was like a deer or a rabbit or something. Just a quick look and then just gone. Escape from prison and on the run. What's our first call of action, everybody? We have money. Gender reassignment. You going with that? All right. Gender reassignment it is. It was successful. What's our name? The letter A? I kind of like that. So it's just a democracy. No, we're not making a statement one way or the other. We're just saying we are a democracy, which we are. I'm kind of assuming you want to do some crime. I just have a feeling that someone out there has a target. You know, you're going for the murder. Okay, we'll do this with our own bare hands. I think you're not even too concerned about going to prison. You just want Olivia dead. Do you want to do a bear trap? Is this like Looney Tunes or something? Oh no. You dug a bear trap outside your ex Olivia's front door and the police were called. <sighs> Olivia escapes. Okay, you gotta go for something solid here. Because I'm worried that Olivia will die of natural causes, which would just be horrible. Like, you'd hate to see that. You would really, really hate to see that. Olivia dying happy, age 95 or whatever. Push off cliff. Commit the murder. <sighs> Olivia's dead. Olivia's dead, everyone. Good job. Fantastic work out there. And we seem to have gotten away with it. Oh no, you want to do another bank robbery? Oh, sweet Jesus. Pick your weapon. Bear spray. Why do we have all these bear-related items? Do we have a phobia of bears or something? <laughs> a rollerblading Santa Claus with a harpoon robs a bank. It sounds like the beginning of a very bad joke, and unfortunately the joke is our lives. <laughs> caught green-handed. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> we keep getting caught doing these crimes. It's as if crimes are a bad idea. You've been experiencing some abdominal bloating lately. On top of that, you're currently running a high fever. What will you do? Two is winning, I think. We actually want to go to the doctor? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> okay, you are no longer suffering from diarrhea. Our health went up. Your mother is suffering from hemorrhoids. Jeez, we're a very open family, aren't we? I like how the, the poll initially burst with accessorize, but then crime just starts to catch up. Oh, wait, no, it's adoption. Sorry. I, that's not going to work. We have a criminal record, so it's not going to work. You want to accessorize? I was thinking about adopting a child, but instead I decided to buy some accessories. <laughs> I'm a mobster, see? <laughs> Incognito mode activate. I mean, that pretty much is what it was. Put on a little hat and some glasses. What? Your boss has ordered you to scare a MILF who stopped texting the skipper. Okay. The gay dating app again. All right, let's do it. They're not crazy, at least. They're 93. They got lots of money. Okay, gang, we need to impress them a bit more than last time, okay? Okay, compliment. Okay, go with a compliment. Okay, that did work. That worked. It's stuck between compliment again, conversation, or give money. You're trying to buy her love. She does really like us. Maybe that was a good idea. Six would be elope. You want to try eloping? Okay, let's try eloping. I hope you say yes, because we might end up murdering you otherwise. <gasps> We're eloping! Okay. All right, we got another house and we got 1 million in cash. Look at that face. They're happy. They're finally happy. A Morris democracy. What does that even mean? <laughs> I have a sneaky feeling that you're itching to do a bit of pickpocketing, are you? No, it's 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 not. It's not that at all. Okay. You tried to sneak an elephant laxative into your mother's morning smoothie. She called the police on you. Resist arrest. I don't even need to do the feckin' thing and then we we try and escape. 
I know the routine now. You've been ordered to report to the family. Oh no, we need to make more money. They're so needy. They're more needy than my actual family. Rat on the crime family? Okay, we are becoming an informant then. Oh no, once you provided sufficient evidence against the O'Malley family, you will be allowed to enter the witness protection program and be free of the Irish mob. You must not be caught committing any crimes during this period or your status as a confidential informant will be revoked. You have a maximum of four years to provide the evidence. Oh, okay. Maybe I should hang out with the boss. <laughs> expose him as a rat? <laughs> Can I expose someone as a rat? That would be a lot of projection. We become a rat and immediately go, that man is a rat. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, drawing attention to ourselves. Ask him out? You want to ask out the mob boss? We don't have syphilis anymore, do we? No, we, we, we cured the syphilis. Okay, good. They rejected us. Oh no, I've been ordered to report to the family. Oh no. Your boss said he'd hate to see you get chopped. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like read through the lines at all here. Charles. Oh no, what are we gonna do? There's ask out, befriend, compliment, contract. You could put a contract on him. Expose him as a rat. Are you sure you want to expose him as a rat? Yes. You declare that he's a rat. Wait, was that correct? They verified that he is in fact a rat. Oh my god, how did you... How did you know? All right, well, he was put through a wood chipper. Now I've been ordered to report to the family. Time for a... No, oh, shook my head and nodded. That got us back in the good books. So you want to hook up or what? They told me not to get involved in any crimes while I'm an informant, and I just put a man through a wood chipper. Is that even a crime, though? I've never heard of, a, like, a law against that. Uh-oh. While on a trip to the mall, you are confronted by the captain from the O'Malley family. Attack him? Oh, I kind of like that, actually. That might be our best option. What if they're just coming over to say hello and we're overreacting because we're a rat and we're a bit jumpy? All right, headbutt. His toes? That's a weird attack. Is, are you sure? <laughs> That's what you want to go with? <laughs> All right, attack. You did a bit of damage. Uh, okay. That, uh, that was a bit of an overreaction. We headbutted his toes and then he threw us into a pit of frenzied ravenous pigs and watched them consume us. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad, not a bad run given that like the way it started, we picked every single terrible option up until like the last few years where we tried to get some sense and actually stay alive. But we were in too deep at that point. Three lovers, three murders. <laughs> See what I mean? He was caught between love and hate all the time. That is the story of his life. A Morris democracy passed away at the age of 40. Her mother and her three sisters couldn't be bothered to attend her funeral. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of karma. Undisciplined woman, friends say she was an abject and Detestable person. Good job, everyone. Pog. <laughs> Democracy is dead, everyone. <laughs>